Mountain biking is amazing. The drama of racing, the adrenaline, the creativity, and even the touch of crazy. For many, it's more than just a wonderful pastime or form of exercise. It's a lifestyle. It's their community. It can be the framework of their entire existence. Determining what they do, where they go, it's a wonderful way to explore the world and even explore who they are. But what happens when mountain biking goes wrong? What do we do when the world bites back and suddenly your life is turned upside down? Who do we become? I was in a construction accident. A roof uh, collapsed on top of me of like 12,000 pounds. I washed the front end and then go straight like with my head to a bump and then I black out. Collapsed both my lungs, two punctures in one of them, a bunch of broken ribs, like seven or eight broken ribs. Uh, and then of course a spinal cord injury and lucky to be alive today. Grateful to be alive today. These are the people I lovingly refer to as the lunatics. The riders who have been knocked down, maybe dealt a tough card in life, experienced physical tragedy, endured real trauma, then get back up and ask for more. At the annual Sea Otter Classic, a premier event in the international mountain bike calendar, the stars, the heroes and trailblazers of adaptive mountain biking throw down everything they have. This sport doesn't have a world title yet, but until it does, the Sea Otter Classic is the title to win. This year we will see two superstars of the sport from either ends of a continent do battle for the first time, as they attempt to wrestle the dual and downhill titles from the hands of the current champion, a larger than life personality called Woofki. And I'm joining in to see just how hard it is to race these events and of course experience firsthand just how talented and skillful the top AMTB riders are. I'm Gustavo Ortiz and I'm an AMTB rider, better known as Guga in the mountain bike ambit. Ready! Well, to me, you look like a numpty, but what's your name? <laughs> well, my name's Cole Bernier. Uh, okay. what's, what's a numpty? A numpty's like a dummy. Uh, <laughs> 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 I thought this was going to be like a positive interview. <laughs> I thought this was going to bring, bring me up, give me some confidence for the race. Uh, so I'm trying to knock you down. So I, can see you. <laughs> I was a mountain bike racer. I used to race downhill and the last like th two or three years I was racing enduro also. It was like practically my life. I was pointing to be like a professional downhill racer, but the, the plans changed a bit. I've always kind of, growing up I raced moto, uh, rode pedal bikes, all the team sports growing up that I could fit into my week. I had, I had a lot of plans. I, uh, I was in my second year of apprenticeship uh, for carpentry. Uh, I wanted to get into full-time firefighting, like city firefighting. Uh, right before my, my accident happened. Um, so yeah, kind of switched gears a little bit. I think that was a bit of a tough uh, a turn for me in the beginning of just kind of having, finally figuring out, you know, at a young age what I wanted to do and, and starting to, to chase that. And then, uh, yeah, having your life turn upside down and kind of having to refigure all that stuff out again. Bowhead for me, it's like, if I put it in one word, it's freedom. It's the tool that I use for moving to the places I love and to be with people I love so it's like the freedom tool for me. I've been with Bowhead for the last like four years but full-time um, as an employee for the last two years and from that perspective Bowhead for me is just it's my family man. On the other side of things Bowhead also makes and I get to sell the product that you know I think single-handedly has kind of changed my life since my accident. Um, it's given me you know freedom to go out and explore mountain bike trails but also express myself as an athlete. Who is the man to beat at Sea Otter? Yeah, Wolfki and for sure Cole. I heard that Martin Ashton guy's going. Also Martin. Are you racing? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Wolfki. But I mean, you know what? He's got, uh, he's got the double title from the last couple of years. So yeah, I think he's naturally the one that everybody wants to take down. My name's Wolfki Crosby. It's uh, W-U-F-K-Y, C-R-O-S-B-Y. 
I was a little bit of a downhiller. It wasn't as extreme into it. It was, it was snow sports and the mountain sports that I am now. It's hard to describe what it is to me because it's not just a bike. It's not just a piece of equipment to me. It's like a level of freedom that it gives to me to get out there and enjoy nature. Or I can take my dog for walks in the snow or I can take him for walks around the campgrounds and the paddocks. And it's it's more than just a bike. It's, it's an entire being of freedom. Like when I'm in the bowhead, I'm not a guy in a wheelchair. I'm able to go out there and ride all the same trails my friends can. And it's really, really amazing that that piece of machinery exists to give us that. I turned off fear a long time ago and I lost the switch to turn it back on. So I just let go of the brakes for a lot of the areas where I'm like, I should slow down a little. And I just let go of the brakes and let the bike eat. And I like to send it. So anytime I can catch air is, you gotta go fast to catch air. <laughs> I do have the, that thought in my head that if I'm not gonna win, I'm likely gonna crash. <laughs> I take it seriously, so I take myself seriously. I'm gonna kick butt and take the win. Man, so it's a little bit cheesy, but uh, in this life, you always gotta bet on yourself. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet on myself this weekend. But if anybody's gonna beat me, I think it's gonna be Guga. And I would be okay with that. We are about to go up for some downhill practice. It's, uh, it's Thursday night, the first night of the show. Tomorrow we've got some dual slalom, but there's a sneaky little extra practice tonight, so I'm gonna go steal that. Well, there you go. That's how a run can go wrong. Just like that, you're upside down. I followed Guga for a couple of corners. Oh, I mean, I watched him go into one corner as he disappeared into the next. Uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see who comes out on top. One thing I know is it won't be me. <laughs> oh, God. A couple yeah. little changes, I think, on my bike, but. Oh, really? Yeah, like there's what? just suspension. Uh -huh. uh, some compression adjustments. You know Goog is right there. Right? I know, that's why I'm saying some compression adjustments, nothing uh, okay. specific, you know? Well, that is downhill one, yeah. practice yeah. over. Um, I just want to do, I just want to go back to the hotel. I want to go and have a Negroni and try and put this out of my mind. Can we just leave? Stop filming me, I want to go. <laughs> Friday morning, dual slalom time. I guess we're going to see them top riders roll the dice and see who's going to be Sea Otter Champ 2023 in the duel. Uh, I'm going to go and, I guess, do my best. Try and stay in one piece. I'm a little bit late, actually, but it's quarter to eight in the morning. It's a very early start. <laughs> Martins aren't good in the mornings, are they, Joey? No. The start gates are sick for us because, I mean, the electric, but it's nice because we don't f them up. It's just like a metal gate. It's like all the traction, so you just like wait on the back wheel and just kind of like preload the throttle a little bit and then you just go. Rah! Do 
super fun. It's uh, yeah, it's like the perfect width for us. Some of the berms are like pretty tight, so it's kind of a cool like tunnel feeling. You just uh, yeah, there's no no breaking into the corners, which is sick. Oh, it's a really fun course. It's a lot better than last year, I think. It's, uh, the flow section's a lot better. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how we do this year. What really looking forward to the chance to actually race against Cole. Just a moment ago with 59.26. Wookie is pushing those tires to the absolute edge of traction. My racing career starts today. I hope you win. The Trials Rider turns racer. Radness. <laughs> Woo! Right, I am up at the top of the hill for dual slalom. We're about to do qualifying runs. I got here late, so I've only done one run down each side. So I'm not as prepared as I maybe should be. But I think it'll be all right. I just want to stay in one piece on this track. Uh, I'm struggling with my frock a little bit, but I'm going to sneeze. Dual slalom. got through the first one but this day might be short-lived because my second round partner's gone cold <laughs> bloody Bernier god damn it oh I'm gonna have to ruin his weekend now riders ready watch the gate Wow, Woofki made him to third place. He was pretty pumped. And then, well, Cole made it look made it look pretty easy. So he's going to have to go up against Cougar in the downhill now. I'm excited for the last day of racing though. It'll be nice to, uh, yeah, 
let the story unravel and then uh, have some bevies after and celebrate with the fam. It's nice to see you down here, Jerry, but I'm gonna go now, chill for a bit at the top, and then do a blistering downhill run. Mark my words. <laughs> Don't laugh! <laughs> Martin Ashley pulling into the start gate here. Uh, he wins some, he lose some. That was slightly comical, wasn't it? I was getting all pumped up on the start line, and I uh, twisted the throttle, and nothing happened. <laughs> so I, um, I had no motor for the first three quarters of the track, and then when I finally run out of rolling speed, I stopped and managed to get it restarted. So I had a little bit of motor at the bottom bit of the track, but <laughs> it wasn't the run I was hoping for. I'll be honest. Yeah, dude, really clean run, didn't really make many mistakes. A couple little little errors, you know, but that's race runs. I feel like you always push that extra little bit on the race run, but it was good, man. I'm stoked that Guga could take a win. I got the win yesterday in dual slalom, so it's cool that both of us get to share a medal and yeah, split the weekend up a little bit. It was a blast, man. Everybody was ripping today. We had 26 athletes for the downhill series, which is freaking crazy. I think that's the most adaptive athletes in any downhill race series ever, so pretty fired up on that man I can't wait to see where the sport goes it was really fun like uh, I felt like the racing vibe so it was it was a good one like I enjoyed it a lot I want to hear everybody going ballistic for this podium this is our para male downhill second place with a silver medal winning ride Cole Burn, yay our gold medal winning ride on the day, Gustavo Ortiz Vasquez. 